Late Night Health continues. We're spending some time with Decker Weiss. He's a naturopathic physician. Uh, he runs a nonprofit. Uh, and I just wrote the name down. And Dr. Weiss, the name of your nonprofit is Peace Possible. Peace Possible. Yeah. Peace Possible. And uh, uh, he also uh, is a cardiologist uh, and uh, an all around nice guy, I can tell. Uh, <laughs> let, let's talk about some of the things that Hippocrates, the father of modern medicine, right? Addressed thousands of years ago, uh, and uh, including things like um, fresh ginger. Uh, it's really funny. Last Friday, I had lunch with a friend of mine who's a functional medicine specialist, and we we ate at a at a at an Indian buffet. Mm-hmm. We both got sick. And I went Watch the buffets. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we gotta be careful. And yeah. and it was um I took some ginger and felt better. It took a day, uh, but I it 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 did get to me. Do, do things like turmeric and ginger do they really work? Well, yeah, in what you get is different levels of quality, different delivery systems, meaning that like turmeric is a whole herb, for example is really great for liver, liver detoxing, so it can help with things like migraines and stuff like that. But you take the real yellow part out of it, the curcuminoids, and then you get in things like, you know, cancer therapies and pain and joint and bone and protection from dementia. But that yellow part doesn't like to absorb super well, so you got to get technologies to get into the bloodstream because in, in natural medicine, we don't alter we don't change the molecular structure just so it absorbs, because then it's a drug. It's no longer curcumin. You know, ginger is very similar. There, you can slice up root. You can pickle it for sushi. Um, you can use it in a lot of variety of ways or just simple teas. But you really pick your delivery systems. Uh, in naturopaths, we love to take things in tincture, where we soak these things for a month in alcohol, and you pull the active ingredients out. But patients like teas and patients like capsules better for obvious reasons Mm -hmm. and and so it just depends on on how you go about it Uh, and that's where it can go from very simple like curcumin or ginger does this to very complex then it's well does the ginger or curcumin I'm using work right and is it what I need at this time and and, you know obviously the ginger you used was the right thing at the right time because you got better yeah, it so did make, and I also had ginger ale. I, I I have to admit that I took both of those, um, and then um, silver is something that's being used a lot again to fight bacteria, uh, especially uh, I guess sovereign sovereign silver. Yeah, so silver it's it's one of the neat things is it's been found to be antibacterial, antiviral, and antifungal. But, but there's two other neat aspects to it. And, and this is when you use the newest and best technologies. Now, where, where Hippocrates knew properties of silver, and the Romans drank from these cups that when they swirled everything around, a few silver ions got in there and, and protected the stuff in the cup. And then you had the dark ages of the silver spoons. And you, you even had, back in the cowboy days in Arizona and California, they would flip a few silver dollars into the water bucket, and they knew they didn't get sick, and they didn't know why. But but we had to take all that and transfer it to a technology that we knew was safe and effective. And, and that's what basically scientists of Sovereign Silver did. They, they created, you know, not just colloidal silver, but a bioactive silver hydrosol, which is even smaller particles, which means now you can be more effective at lighter doses. And the body also, when it's done with it, grabs it and takes it out of the body because metals, you have to make sure that they go in and then you have to make sure they leave. And so Sovereign Solar has done a good job of making sure that it, it leaves as well. And, and then you get this. Where, where I learned about it was there's something in Special Forces, women and men's, you know, backpacks that is uniform through every army, whether it's the Iraqi, the Israeli, you know, whatever, Syrian army, whatever it is. And that is all have silver in there. And I've seen Sovereign Silver in their packs. And, you know, they, wow. there's an Argentine product. You know, they'll have it in there because... You spray it in your ear for earaches. You can use a vertical thing for your nose. You can drink it like I was in Africa and I got a really, really bad bug. And I earned it. I was eating all this food. <laughs> it was delicious, though. But, you know, it's just different bacteria. And, you know, so I, you know, took two teaspoons of it 
three times a day, and two days I there was some probiotics, I knocked it out. That's can you really fast? I mean, that's faster than most antibiotics. So, right. it really, really can be effective. Can you use that as a as a, a nasal spray for allergies? Would that work? Allergies, yes. You're going to get soothing and calming. Allergies is a little different ball game because you you have literally your immune system reacting to the environment. Uh, but what's nice is that it, it's it's going to help balance immune system a little bit, and it doesn't destroy that natural protection. So what happens is when people will mistakenly take like antibiotics for allergies, they actually make a lot of it, tend to make it worse. Silver, we don't we don't know why, but silver seems silver will bring down a, uh, you know kind of all the bacteria in your system a little bit, but it leaves that diversity, meaning it leaves all those good you know different species in there that protect us it leaves them all intact and then they can regrow as soon as it's done that's very much unlike other antibiotics that just wipe everything out and then we develop the resistance right i I don't know if you've been following antibiotic resistance but it's really scary and i'm in countries now where they're where we're you know doctor i can't believe this we're out of time you and i are going to talk and well, did, did you? So can I? It's what I do for a living. We're going to take it. We're going to. We're going to talk. We're going to have you come back very soon. Okay, I promise. Uh, and if you want information on Doctor Decker Weiss, go to LateNightHealth.com. We'll have a link to his website. That's the easiest way to do it. All right, we're out of time for this segment. We'll be back in just a few moments uh, as we continue here on Late Night Health. 